Dylan and Martin Griffin. Um, me and my dad really like Lucky Dog guitars and we watch a lot of guitar videos. And today we're going to show you some of the Lucky Dog gear that y'all probably use. If y'all don't use it, we're going to show y'all a few things about Lucky Dog. Uh, a few things, a backstory on how I got involved with Lucky Dog and uh, just want to kind of walk y'all through some of the gear that we use. Um, extremely high quality stuff. We watch guitar videos all the time like Waylon said, so we decided we weren't going to be moochers anymore and we thought we'd contribute a little bit. So any of y'all that have Lucky Dogs or some cool gear out there that um, you want to share, make a video, put it out there. Um, so anyways, let's get started with the gear. Um, like we said, in addition to Lucky Dog guitars, we also buy a lot of the Lucky Dog gear that y'all probably see on Anthony's videos. Um, Anthony, by the way, thank you for making the videos because if it wasn't for you putting all the info out there like you do, um, we probably wouldn't know a lot about it. So um, start with some of the cords. All the cords that we're using today are all Lucky Dog cords. These are awesome, 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 high quality cords. Um, I don't and know if they last can... forever. They do last forever. They're super thick, bonded, all that kind of good stuff. Um, great cords so we've got multiple colors and links and all that kind of stuff like lucky dog uses um but anyways let's kind of walk out through some of the gear that we're using today and we'll go from there actually wait, let's put that one here we'll start out with this one right here this was my first lucky dog um my wife got me this i was playing at the houston last Show rodeo a couple years ago and this came up as a public sale guitar and she messaged me and said, hey, you know, I was already on the waiting list at that time. And she said, hey, a Lucky Dog just popped up. It's really cool. Uh, do you want it? And I was like, yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I said, it'd be even better if I can get it from my rodeo show. So I called Anthony up and said, hey, I like the guitar. I want to get it. Um, is there any way possible we can get it here in like two days? He's like, yeah. So he, he made it happen. He really jumped through some hoops for me. Um, I got it. Uh, it comes in a case, uh, this case actually. Really, really high quality cases, just like you've probably seen in some of Anthony's videos. Great, great cases. Um, you know, open it for me. It's a Gator print case. Uh, typical kind of holding box. It comes with a certificate of authenticity and serial number. Uh, I should have put that in the video, for, I forgot. Um, so I came in, like I said, like the, I think the day of the show. So I literally got this probably about two hours before I went live with it. Uh, got out of the case from the minute you hold a lucky dog you can feel the difference in the guitars um, they're not a big box store guitar they feel different they smell different um, they just play different all the way around this is one that uh, Anthony hand carved hand painted uh, he does all the laser uh, engraving on the pit guards and all that kind of stuff this is the houndstooth pickup sets by the way i don't know if i said this yet or not but this is our this is our first video that we've done like this so if it doesn't sound very good or doesn't look very good or camera's not where it's supposed to be we're going to work through it a little bit together so um anyways like i said these are the houndstooth pickup um just like anthony said in a lot of his videos these these first two strings um got a little bit more bite to them than than your typical t-style guitar uh but everything is, uh, this one has the Kluson locking tuners, actually both of them do. It's got this, this one has a Schroeder bridge that is aged. Um, it's got the, what, Dragon, Dragonback knobs, the first generation. Uh, this one's got the regular T-style three state, uh, three position switch. Um, and that's really it on that one. Uh. Let me show them the back way. I believe this one was, this one is African mahogany. Uh, comes a little relic from, from the factory. In case y'all are wondering what that is, that's uh, John Carroll, who is Corey Morrow's lead guitar player. He, he just happened to be at the show the night that I played this and checked it out. And so I, he's one of my favorite guitar players. If y'all haven't listened to John Carroll, check him out. He does a lot of seminars with uh, Brett Mason and all that kind of Kind of good stuff. This one has a lucky dog plate on the back. And that's about it for that one. Uh, we're gonna do a little demo here in a minute. Uh, on this setup, 
I've got the little Fender tube amp and I'm gonna hook it up with the Soul Winner, uh, Lucky Dog Soul Winner pedal. This is an awesome little pedal. If you ever have a gig where you don't wanna bring a bunch of stuff, do you have an amp and this pedal that pretty much gets you through the show? Uh, it doesn't, really don't need a whole lot of stuff. You got a good sounding guitar and a pedal with a little little bite to it and good compressor built into it. And I'm gonna turn this amp on and get it warmed up for a minute. So I got, like I said, I got this one a couple years ago. Um, really love this guitar in Wayland since it is Wayland. Uh, it's kind of a Wayland themed guitar. So I thought we would get that one because I've always loved the uh, leather engraves, uh, kind of Wayland style tele uh, telecasters and all that kind of good stuff. Speaking of leather engraving, let's, let's go into this. Uh, this is my custom guitar um, that, that uh, has a custom strap made by Mr. Cody Hickson. Uh, Cody does awesome work. You'll see a lot of his work on Anthony's guitars. Uh, I've had him do a color match on a couple of guitars. I'll show you the other strap for me. Um, he matched the ink almost perfectly to the guitars every time and it's all always by by pictures and stuff. It blows me away. That's, that's a logo for our friend Cole Gordon, the Helping Hand Foundation that we're heavily involved with. Awesome uh, group that does a lot for agriculture for youth and all that kind of stuff. Please Which, check Cole Gordon out. Cole Gordon, the Helping Hand Foundation. So uh, this is another strap that I had made by Mr. Cody Hickson. Uh, I had this one made, ironically, years before at my first Lucky Dog. Um, I sent him a picture of this talk that I play on a pretty, re pretty regular basis. Some sizes on what, what I wanted and kind of drew it up on a piece of paper and he does absolutely wonderful work, as you'll see on a lot of stuff that he does some joint ventures with uh, Anthony on. So, uh, hold on, wait, let's go through this one. Now this one, is my custom build from the list. So this one took a little bit longer, obviously. Uh, Anthony probably got really sick of, of uh, <laughs> texts and pictures and questions and everything going back and forth, but he was absolutely fabulous. If you want great Southern hospitality, customer service, uh, Lucky Dog is your, is your venue for it because Anthony does an absolutely fabulous job of uh, producing a, a great American-made product uh, he cares about every single guitar that's built out there and uh, really pays close attention and to what you want. Uh, even though it might not be something he's always on, on board with, he, uh, if, it's, if it's not something uh, that he thinks is going to work, he's also honest with you. He'll say, hey, uh, I don't think this is going to work. Let's try this. Or, hey, have you thought of this? Because we're not all guitar gurus out there. Um, let me go into a little bit of detail on this one. This one is... Also African mahogany. Um, I really like the Whaling guitar, African mahogany. It's pretty solid. That that guitar over there is, is it's got some good weight to it. And I was expecting the same with this one. And it's actually a really really light guitar, and I love it even more. Um, I had Anthony put uh, the Howdy logo in there from the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Um, I'm pretty heavily involved with that, which is what Cody did on the strap for me too. I'm, I'm on the speakers committee for him and go out and promote the show quite a bit. So, uh, hold on, wait. So on this one, uh, Anthony kind of did this fade on the neck for me. This one also has the clues and locking tuners, which are absolutely amazing. Um, if you haven't played them yet, I highly suggest it. Uh, let's go through this. What's that? What you got? Um, so on this guitar, he added his the Texas on his neck, and he put his logo. So like his first name, first letter of his first name, and his first letter of his last name. So when he initials on the neck. And then he also added the buffalo and a Indian head nickel. Indian to the volume and then you basically have a three like last time three position switch okay let me take over for a sec way so this one again i got the houndstooth pickup and the bridge position 
Uh, absolutely beast of a pickup. I love it. This is the 5708 uh, humbucker, which we have on, on a split. Uh, like Wayland said, I've got the Buffalo nickel. Um, let me zoom in on these a little bit. Buffalo nickel knobs. Um, and we hooked up the 5708 on a split, so you can pop that up, pop it down to split that, split this humbucker. Uh, this is a beast. This is a rock machine right here. Uh, but Anthony does this for several of the humbucker pickups and, and from what I've heard on the videos, they sound amazing. Uh, Three-way blade switch. Um, he also has the adjustable necks. This is actually, um, I should have charged it for the video, uh, but this is actually glow in the dark blue. This will glow in the dark. If you look on some of the Instagram pictures and stuff like that that Anthony has, it actually looks like a neon uh, beer sign, which is what I was going for. <laughs> um, Again, he faded the neck. He's kind of saying this is a darker color for me. Um, to kind of give you all the, a rundown on what I'm playing this one through. Thank you, way. Watch that pick. Um, <laughs> this is not your traditional guitar setup that you would probably see many people play through. This is using more of my practice setup, but I've also got to use it live pretty much on a regular basis. I'm more of a... Um, more of a singer <laughs> than I am a guitar player, and you'll find that in a minute while I do some demo sounds. But um, I I play this rig because I, I usually do an acoustic through this wireless, an electric through this wireless, and then I use my HX Stomp for um, multiple pedals and you don't have to carry a bunch of stuff around. The Bose, uh, I use the Bose Model 1 L2 for a lot of my big stuff, and I use this S1 for S1 Pro for some of my uh, smaller shows. It's what you get. And some of the, and that little Bose will also fill up a whole house. Because your mom tells me to turn it down all the time? Uh huh. She's about to in a minute. <laughs> um, so, anyways, that's, that's kind of my setup, and, and if you're wondering, what I've got, I'm sure you can post some questions and I'll be glad to answer on some of this stuff if, if you have any questions about any of the gear. Um, if you're not familiar with the S1, it's, it's a really, really cool rig. So um, I guess let's do a few demo sounds for them away and then we'll we'll go from there, huh? Get this, this camera set up here. So we are gonna start with the first guitar. Public sale uh, guitar that my wife got for me. Uh, your regular T style, three way pickup, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, this Queen Towns. Singers, but we uh, 
we still enjoy and appreciate a good, a good sounding instrument. And these sound great acoustically. Um, one of the cool things about this, you could actually plug this into an acoustic amp or like my Bose S1, and you can plug plug it in. It sounds amazing, almost as acoustic. So, yeah, idea.
one thing I, I saw whenever Waylon was moving the cases around that I forgot to mention was uh, thing that Anthony did for me uh, on this case and Anthony um, I gotta be honest the tags are on this because I'm I love this case so much that she did for me um, that Anthony put this this is kind of a family heirloom that we wanted to put on on the guitar build somewhere and he actually put it on the case and I love it uh, I use some of my other cases to gig with this because I'm afraid I'm gonna mess this one up because I love this case so much um, just kind of wanted to show you all that too again with some of his customer service uh, Anthony has really gone above and beyond to really connect with his customers. And I think you'll see that when they message a lot on online, uh, it's because they really care uh, about the product because he cares about the product and the customers that, that he serves. And it really goes to show something. Um, actually, one more thing while I'm thinking about it on, on these, on a lot of the uh, big box guitar bills that you'll see, uh, they don't capo very well at all. And not that, most of the lead guys out there are capo on bunch of their stuff, but um, if you're a singer like me, you do. So, it actually capos really, really well. It doesn't fret out or anything like that, so it's a nice change from some of the other um, mass-produced guitars out there. talking about the sure these are sure glx the uh wireless receiver guitar receivers so these are what a lot of the uh people use for wireless stuff and they're excellent um i've had some other products out there that for wireless uh and they always get interference and stuff like that and just like anything else sure if you're a professional or you if you gig professionally uh, it's the only way to go fair enough mm -hmm. yeah okay well Thank y'all for watching, uh, Anthony. Keep keep up, Anthony, and the whole team at Lucky Dog. Y'all y'all build excellent guitars. We're proud uh, to be Lucky Dog owners, and keep up the good work. You say hi to Brooklyn. Hi to the Lucky Dog team. <laughs> and. And Mr. Anthony. Anything else? That's it. So, anyways. Uh, Thank y'all very much for watching again. We appreciate it. Just kind of wanted to share our rig rundown. And I think that's it. Hopefully we'll see y'all again soon. Thanks.